Hey, how's it going, everyone? How's everybody doing? Great. I just want to apologize. First thing, for my voice. I'm getting over the wrong puberty. <laughs> That's right. I am a transgender woman, and uh, I live in Rockford, Illinois. And I don't know what you know about Rockford, but it's far too much. <laughs> I live in Rockford, Illinois. People there are a little less, uh, a little uncouth. So uncouth, in fact, that they don't like it when I use the word uncouth, right? <laughs> so they just ask, they ask, they just ask, what's in my pants? Oh my God, yeah, right. <laughs> and I like to tell them I'm not wearing pants. I didn't transition to wear pants. <laughs> okay, I know what they mean, I know what they mean. They want to know what kind of genitals I have so they can properly visualize me later as an answer. Sir, I'll tell you since I know that's what's going to happen. I like to call my vagina heaven because it also doesn't exist. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's, that's how I feel about it. <laughs> Oh, yeah, listen, I still got a dick. Um, yeah, I have been thinking about getting surgery. Bottom surgery, you know, uh, surgery, right? The old filet of phallus. The old dick talk. The Civil War. Because afterwards, my south will never rise again. <laughs> But it's super expensive, isn't it? It's like, you don't know, because why the fuck would you know? Um, it's like thirty, forty thousand dollars for a base model vagina. You don't want a base model vagina, do you? Anybody with a vagina knows that you definitely want one of those fingerprint sensor starts. Gentlemen, let's call it the door. <laughs> it's not a push button start either. <laughs> gentle, gentle. But it's so expensive, so what I decided to do is just not lose any weight. So when I look down, I can't see it. It doesn't bother me anymore. <laughs> and uh, it still bothers me. <laughs> oh, shit. Um, yeah. I've tried to lose weight, though. I have. I, 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 work, I work out. I drink much. I, eat, I don't drink much alcohol. I'm at the point where I haven't had surgery, right? And that's another expense. I'll be doing lap dances, pay for laparoscopic lap band surgery. <laughs> I have a problem with sex work. I have a problem with work, right? <laughs> work just kind of blows. <laughs> work is weird, isn't it? It's like you get shoved in a room with like a dozen other people that you have nothing in common with. <laughs> and, and you're expected to do things. And you come out being friends with these people, probably through some shared trauma, right? <laughs> like that fucking bitch Judy won't give a candy anymore. <laughs> Eat one too many Reese's peanut butter cups, she just goes out and you're like, I like that, no, no. <laughs> um, I wouldn't be complaining about that. So anyway, I had a friend at my job and I would go to his house and we would do things. And because it's Rockford, we would shoot guns, which is a definitely a good thing to know if you live in Rockford. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, and we would like drink beer and work at cars. I don't like cars or beer, right? But we, you know, we do these things because that's what he wanted to do and he wanted to fix my car. <laughs> he needed to fix, right? But, um, so one day though, he would come, I, I was at work and he came into my office and he started talking. He started calling me he and sir and my old name. It's not cool, right? We all know that that's not cool. But he said, I asked him to stop. He said, I can say whatever I want because I have Freedom of expression. You know what kind of guy that is, don't you? <laughs> we all met that guy, haven't we? On the internet a lot. <laughs> but, so, I asked him to stop, and I thought about going to HR and having him fired, right? But again, I remembered his guns. <laughs> and I want to be famous, but I don't want to be named right on the news famous, right? <laughs> Like, that, that would be a little too far. And also, I'm not a fucking snitch. <laughs> so, 
So also, that, though, anyway, what it is, I went to his house, and I used my freedom of expression to seduce his wife. <laughs> <laughs> and she used her freedom of expression and religion to praise God at least four times that night. <laughs> Twice in the morning. <laughs> so what I'm saying, ladies, I, 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 you're all beautiful. You're looking to give up men, but you don't want to give up dick. I have a solution for you. <laughs> I will be here all night. Give it up for Romero. <laughs>